Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ndpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a complete environment and upload your own web apps to cloudfoundry.com. Let's start with getting up to speed with a real cool user guide. This getting started guide can be downloaded from cloudfoundry.com and when you download this getting started guide, uh, here's the PDF. You will see uh, which steps you have to take in order to successfully deploy a web app in the Cloud Foundry. Cool. So before you start this process, you must create or you must ask for a user account at the Cloud Foundry website. So when you hop over to cloudfoundry.com, then you will see a link uh, a free sign in for the Cloud Foundry and when you put in your username and your email address and you agree to the terms of service then you uh, will receive the invite and uh, you will essentially get a username and a password and a nice welcome email so before you start you have to uh, to sign up for, uh, for an account it will take one business day at least in my case it did so uh, you will receive an email and there's also a link to this getting started guide. So what do you need uh, uh, as a Windows guy to uh, to upload an app to the Cloud Foundry? We need the Ruby installer. So let's see how this Ruby installer can be downloaded and installed on my laptop. Now the newest version right here, uh, let's click the download button. And 9.2 run so this is the first step the Ruby, ins the Ruby installer and we are going to use the Ruby installer to uh, install some additional components which uh, enable you to upload your applications into cloudfoundry.com the installer is nearly finished with downloading and we can kick off the setup Run. So here we go. Welcome to the Ruby 192 installer. I accept the license. I put it in root. Add the executables to your path and associate the files with the Ruby installation. So there he goes, the complete Ruby installer is running. So the second thing we have to do while the installer is finishing and everything is installed successfully, the second thing we have to do is uh, run a command called gem install vmc and we need vmc to upload uh, the files to the cloudfoundry.com website since we are working on a windows machine let's try to use gem install vmc okay It looks okay. I don't have any computer problems. There it goes. It's uh, downloading a module and it's fetching some things and it's doing a lot of things. Seven gems installed. Cool. Even the documentation is installed. Okay, the installation 
of this module is done. I think we can use the command VMC right now. And we have to put in some options because we want to connect VMC to the api.cloudfoundry.com. So VMC target api.cloudfoundry.com. Okay. So we have created the target. It was successfully. Now we have to put in the username and email address uh, we received from uh, the nice people of Cloud Foundry. And we will do it with the VMC login command. And th the username and password will be uh, will be cached. My email address is eslove at antipro.nl. And my password is secret. And I'm trying to log on to the api.cloudfoundry.com. So this is also successful. We are heading in the right direction. Um, then we have to create a product, a, a project directory. So let's uh, in demo create a test, whatever, CD test. And in this test directory we have to uh, create our first program. And this example is based on Sinatra. And if you want to test it local, you also have to uh, install Sinatra. And it's not that hard. It's, it's an easy job. Uh, the only thing you have to do is fire off an additional command, which will download the uh, Sinatra modules and install the Sinatra software. So when you go to the command prompt and you are firing off gem space install space Sinatra it will also install the Sinatra module onto your laptop. So there's no p repository called Sinatra Sinatra Sorry. See. Maybe there's something wrong with the capital. Okay, this this looks much better. So <coughs> what I did is that I already uh, created the script. It's real easy. It's it's a hello world script. So uh, I just copy and paste the script from my website. And when I'm going to the folder with my uh, with my project project folder users demo test and I put in a new text document in here called uh, hello dot rb We can see that it's right here, but it's not okay. Okay, let's try it out. So what you see here is that I'm running the hello.rb, the hello script on my local laptop, my own micro cloud and it's hosted on port 4567 
So we can give it a try uh, when I'm firing off a browser and I'm going to the URL 127.0.0.1 port 4567 4567 I don't see anything I get a 404 that's correct because I'm expecting to get high after the slash so when I'm putting in high right here I see the hello world Eric Sloof anti-pro.nl message appearing. So I'm using my micro cloud, my own private clouds uh, right now. But what we also can do is push this application to, uh, to the Cloud Foundry. So when I'm using the command VMC, push, um, let's call it eSleuth then the complete contents of this directory will be pushed to the cloudfoundry.com website and I am asked if I want to uh, deploy it from the current directory the answer is yes how should we call the application uh, the application will be named eSleuth.cloudfoundry.com um, it's a Sinatra application. Is this correct? Yes, it is. How much memory must be reserved for this application? I choose for the default. And now it's creating the application. Do you want any other services uh, bindings? No, I don't. And now the contents of the application is uploaded to the Cloud Foundry. And my application is started at the Cloud Foundry. So if I'm firing off a new browser again, and I'm going to esloof.cloudfoundry.com and I'm hitting enter I will see a 404 because I must put in hi after this URL and you see I've uploaded my own web app to the Cloud Foundry and it's running fine and nicely in the cloud okay Eric Sloof is signing off and I hope you will get some cool web apps running up in the cloud. And I will be back next time with another great video. Thanks for watching.